introduce you to my new toy. A couple of weeks ago, I've been looking around for a while, and um, up this one came. It's the Mossberg 500 3 shot hush power in a 410 version. They do several versions. They do one in 20 gauge and one in 12 gauge. Uh, you can either have wood or synthetic stock and fore end. Um, and I think there's also what they call the kit where you can have an extra barrel that doesn't have the, the uh, hush power moderator on as well. So obviously that's a little bit more money. Um, so you've got the choice of whether you want to use the hush power barrel or, or the non-hush power. Right, in the box, I've still got all the goodies with it. Um, it's a lovely set of tacky stickers if you want your shotgun to look like a boy racer car. Uh, the manual, bath time reading. A little cable padlock, which I assume is to go through the breach there. Um, not a huge piece of security, but I guess every little bit helps. Right, um, measurements. Now, a lot of people obviously want to know how long these things measure, see whether you can get them in the cup cabinet. So, let's start off with the barrel first. <coughs> it's a 24 inch barrel. You see somewhere inside there that the barrel finishes and the moderator takes over the bulk of it. Uh, th chambered three inch sh shells. Um, on the bottom of the moderator, you'll see a shiny mark there. Now, it's come up on forums when people have asked questions is that a scratch? It's not, it's the proof mark. So, um, so if you see that on a gun you're looking at, there's no need to worry. Um, they do say, because of the porting inside the, the moderator, that you must use fibre wads through it, because otherwise the plastic wads shave off and fill up the moderator, and that's obviously not good news. So, measurements wise, overall, from the muzzle end through to the breech end, taken apart, it's 33 and a quarter inches or 840 millimetres. Okay. Um, now the action, from the tip of the magazine tube there, through to the end of the stock just here, without the spaces, is 32 and a quarter inches, or 820 millimetres. Now because I'm a lanky tall chap, I've obviously got the spaces here that it was supplied with and the rubber butt pad. So that makes an overall length for me of, of the from the magazine tube to the end of the um, rubber recoil pad 33 and 7 8 and 861 millimeters. And therefore, anybody who's interested, it would make the length of pull 14 inches. A little bit on the short side for me, but you know, by the time you've got a couple of jackets on, it's so light, light and pointable, it really isn't an, an issue. Right. So to put the gun together, very very simple, very quick. Just behind the trigger, there's a little button. Okay, now that locks the mechanism. So depress that little button, and that frees up the fore end and actually come back with the pause. Now what we need to do is just pop that somewhere in the centre there. You can see where the extractor is just there. Don't always get this right, but anyway, let's hope it's somewhere near. Barrel on top of the fore end. Just slide gently into the breech, and as you do line up the rib, you'll find it'll locate and locks in place. And as you do that, just twizzle up the little knurled knob. And that's it, all together, all fixed. <sighs> to load, safe to catch on the top of the action, so fairly obvious, usual place. Um, to press the little button under here with your finger, slide the breech back, Pop your first shell in there, reach forward, two more shells in there. Now this is the shotgun certificated um, pump action, so it's restricted to two in the chamber and one in the breech, so three shot in total. Four ends a little bit wobbly, but to be honest you don't notice it during the daytime and obviously with the cold weather moment with gloves on, it's the last thing to worry about. Um, fabulous little gun. Really well balanced, very light to carry around. I haven't stacked on the scales, but I'm sure you can have a look on, on this site and see exactly what it weighs. It, it really is a joy to use. I've been very successful on the pigeons with it. Very quiet. Um, it does make a bang, but it's nothing like the, the crack you would normally get from a 410. I'd say, well, certainly from a shooter's perspective, it'll obviously dip, be different further away, but it's half the noise, and uh, you get almost more of a, a noise from the clack of the action, actually. Um, Cracking little gun. I'm really, really pleased with it. 
Um, out to 30 yards, rabbits, pigeons, no problem at all. I've been using the uh, subsonic 3 inch shells in size 6 shot um, and I bought a box of four longs the other day to have a little go with and uh, those are very quiet too so I think close range stuff, um, little four longs perfect um, but something a little bit further out, bunnies or rabbits, uh, bunnies or pigeons and decoy, I'd, I'd be aiming to look within 30 yards and uh, a three inch subsonic in size six shot. Go and buy one, they are absolutely fantastic. I'm thrilled to bits with this, it's uh, it's the best one I've had in ages. So there you go, short review, hope that's helpful and enjoy your shooting. <laughs>